guys and welcome to a very special unboxing. I have not been this excited for a material possession in so fucking long. This has been a long, drawn out, one month journey or maybe even more. And I am just so excited to get this. <sighs> What is this wonderful package, you ask? This is my brand new, new 3DS XL, modded with a capture card and a Japanese-only special edition Pikachu cover. Like that special edition Pikachu version you can only get if you're in Japan? I have a US version right here. The company I got this from is Katsukitty. They were amazing with corresponding back and forth, letting me know the process, how long it's gonna take. And even though it took a while to get the special edition in, once they got it in, it was here within two days from Japan. So today we're gonna be unboxing this and I'm also gonna be hooking it up, trying it out. And once I get it hooked up, if you're interested, on my Twitch channel, I will now be streaming Pokemon Sun and other 3DS games. This is amazing. I love the 3DS, but for so long I was like, I don't go anywhere, I don't do anything. And now that I can stream it, I can play it with you guys. I was actually playing A Link Between Worlds in bed every morning, but I kind of felt like it was pointless because I never had any other time to play the games. Without further ado, let's just get this open. I cannot wait to see this bad boy to get the software installed, to make an overlay for it, and I'm gonna document most of that, if not all of that, right here in this video. Again, if you want to get your own capture carded 3DS or PSP, or new 3DS or 3DS XL or new 3DS XL, and I think they do 2DS too, link in the description for Katsukitty's website. Don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm unfortunately, as hard as I try, not Japanese. All right, let's go, let's go. My hood's falling off and I don't care. I just want this thing open. I want it so bad. One thing to note is they did put a little sticker on the back. I can't show you because my address is on the back, but it says lithium ion battery, so they are protecting your device. You can also send in your existing device to get it modded. But since the only device I had was an EU only device, I lent my other one out and the person never gave it back. I decided to just buy a new one. Why not? All right, so this is the box that it comes in. There's tape on the bottom here. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I am like, oh my God. I just, it's just, I don't know why I'm so excited about this. I just feel like streaming Nintendo games without actually having like a capture card in my living room for all of my consoles and things. Just, it seems so magical. And to play Pokemon Sun with you guys, oh. A little backstory, my dad bought Pokemon Moon and Pokemon Sun, and when I was younger, he bought Pokemon Blue and Red, and I took Red, so he gave me Sun. I was a huge Pokemon fan when I was younger, way more so than I am now. Like, I don't even know any of the new Pokemon, but I could recite to you all 151 of the originals. I watched the anime like crazy. I was in love with Misty so much so that I called myself Misty. It was like my self-inflicted nickname. I had figures, I played the TCG card game, Wizards of the Coast stores, RIP. And oh my God, that was just a huge part of my childhood. I can't get this open, it's driving me crazy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so they actually added in one of the micro USB to USB cables that I'm gonna be needing. On the site, it says you have to buy one if you don't already have one. It's nice that they included this for me. Thank you guys. And, oh my God, in bubble wrap, here it is. Here it is. Inside we have a little note here, which I'm gonna pull out. It says, thank you for your purchase and instructions on how to use the Nisatoro Capture. The installation of the driver is not automatic. You need to install it manually. Please download the driver and viewer software in the following URL. Please be careful when plugging and unplugging the mini USB cable. If strong pressure is applied on the USB slot while the cable is connected, the capture card may not be recognized. If the capture card has issues, please ask us to repair it. If you attempt to disassemble the kit, you will void your warranty. That's something I was wondering about with these. If my warranty was already voided by doing this, but it's looking as though it's not. They did mention in my correspondence in the emails that they get everything directly from Nintendo, so I think it's just best to go with this company because they're the most reputable. I know other people who have gotten it done through them. And even though it's a little pricey, it's worth it. Not sponsored. I paid in full. The USB port placed in front of your desktop may not recognize the capture board if it is part of the built-in hub. Please plug in your capture board using the USB port on the rear of the machine. And there's a little bit more troubleshooting on here, but who cares? Let's just get it open. Okay, so this is called the new Nintendo 3DS LL. LL actually stands for Luciciously Large. It's just the Japanese version of XL. I don't know why they chose such a flamboyant name, but I'm cool with it. Let's get it open. Again, this is the Japanese-only Pikachu Special Edition, modded so that it plays US games. All of the original stuff is in here, and here it is. Let's zoom in on it for you. As you can see, it has Pikachu on it, and it is just as thin with the capture card as it is without. There's no additional thing on the bottom, there's no board or anything. It's just the exact same product with the Pikachu, brand new, 
straight from Nintendo, perfect as if it was never tampered with. I'm not seeing any indication that it was opened up, any issue with the product at all. Absolutely undeniably perfect. Before we get into things, I wanted to show you the difference between the 3DS XL and the new 3DS XL. Capture carded and not capture carded. It looks like they're about similar size with the new 3DS XL maybe being slightly bigger. This added micro USB port is the only difference that you can actually see superficially between the modded and unmodded versions. Also, as you can see, the new 3DS XL has the game port actually on the bottom of the device closer to you if you're holding it. Whereas the old one has the port on top still, as since the dawn of time of Nintendo handheld consoles. Also, the new 3DS XL has these two little buttons that the regular 3DS XL does not. The camera lens holes are actually a little bit bigger on the older version. The buttons on the new 3DS XL are colorful. I'm not sure if that's because it's the collector's edition or not, but they are a little bit more spaced, which is better for your hands. And there's a start and select button with just a simple home button in the bottom middle instead of the three weird buttons. As far as the difference in the device goes, I'm not seeing too big of a difference so far, but I do like the few little evident changes. Just not so sure if it warrants you actually going out and buying a new 3DS XL if you already have a 3DS XL. If you don't and you're choosing between the two, go with the new one. All right guys, I think it's time to connect it, download the drivers and see if we can get this baby working. I'm so excited. All right guys, we've got it working. I have to admit, it took me a little bit to get it working. I had to troubleshoot a little bit. Apparently you actually do want to heed the warning on the piece of paper and plug the USB cable in the very back of your computer and not on any hub or anything. It wasn't working for me. It wasn't recognizing the device at first. It was weird. The first thing that I did was I downloaded the drivers and the new 3DS view from the website on that little piece of paper I just mentioned. Installed the drivers here. Opened the new 3DS view, which is this thing right here, and it was just like a black screen and nothing was happening. At first, this was part of the same window, but I like them being separate windows because I like to capture them separately rather than capturing the same thing twice and then like cropping it all up and stuff. But I'm very happy to show you that it is working. Now let's turn on the music. Another thing that's a little bit weird is how the sound works. Now the sound isn't that great of quality when you're using the digital sound output beta. The other way to do it according to the piece of paper, and I'm not 100% understanding what they want you to do, is plug something into the headphone jack here and then you plug it into your line in on your computer. But I didn't want to do this because not only do I not have that cord, I don't want to have to use my line in because I'm using my line in for headphones. So I obviously don't want anything monopolizing that audio input. Now let's turn it up and you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so I would recommend keeping it at a lower volume because it does get a little glitchy. I have it at 33,000 hertz and one kilobyte buffer size. I also have 64 buffer. I don't know, I've just been playing with these values. It gets dramatically different depending on where you put things and sometimes it'll even be silent if you do it wrong. You kind of just have to play with it and see what you like. But personally, my experience is that the audio can be a little fuzzy or it can skip around a little bit or be a little low quality. You just have to play with it and find out what's best for you. I don't feel like that's a detraction at all from this. Probably hard to have high quality audio and high quality capture of something you're not supposed to be capturing in the first place. You can also play with all the other modes. There's a 3D mode, you can have a filter. I use the bilinear filter. You can have the upper and lower together. You can have it on a different screen and that setting is right here, separate the lower screen. Now let's go ahead and show you the overlay that I made for it. Oh, I'm so excited. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I do make all of my own overlays. No, I do not take commission. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hold the applause for later. And this is what it's gonna look like when I'm streaming the game. Pretty cool, you have the lower screen down on the bottom and the upper screen at the top. Use our Taurus mount. It looks pretty good for being scaled up, right? I am really excited to stream this. I'm actually getting ready to stream it right now, but I just wanted to finish this video and show you guys that it's working. Everything is great, and I'm very, very excited to have this product. It's, it's well worth the $200 that you're putting on top of the actual console price. And this Japanese-only Pikachu case on a US new 3DS XL was definitely worth the 50 bucks. I don't really have any qualms with this company. They were really responsive, really great. They, they put up with me constantly being like, is it ready yet? Is it ready yet? And pushing them for info. They were very genial, very helpful with anything. They gave me all of the information I needed when deciding if I can capture this the way that I want to. One thing to note is that in OBS, we're gonna get the infinite screen here. But in OBS, you do have to put the 3DS in as a window capture and not as a game capture. I prefer putting things in as game captures, but it's not that big of a difference. As long as I don't have to use monitor capture, I'm fine. Because monitor capture doesn't require you to disable arrow, but it wants you to in order to have a better quality stream. 
and it lags everything a little bit. As you can see right here, it's not really taxing my CPU. I do have a really good CPU and a really good setup. But if you are someone who's already streaming modern video games at any kind of quality level, this is definitely doable for you. It's not taking up too much memory either, which is a good thing. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to watch me stream live, probably Pokemon Sun, check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash terrababcock. If you're interested in getting your own PS Vita or 3DS of any kind capture carded, check the link in the description. Honestly, the thing I love the most about this company is they were very professional. There were no damages. They're not voiding your warranty. And though it is a little pricey for some, I feel like it's definitely worth it to go with Katsukitty. Once again, not sponsored. Sponsored. Thanks for watching, like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video on the gaming channel. Bye guys! Post in the comments if you want me to make a let's play of Pokemon Sun or any other 3DS game. You like that Pokemon music in the background? Bye guys!